I'm just like this today. It is what it is, y'all. <laughs> I have a pimple. <laughs> and I'm upset about it. But anyway, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Gold Mouth. I'm going to act like y'all at this pimple in here, okay? It's your girl, Gold Mouth. And I'm coming at y'all today to grease my scalp again, okay? Because I, I usually do this twice a week. Uh, two to three, mostly three times I be wanting to do it, but it all depends on the hairstyle, y'all. So, how y'all doing out there today, y'all, up there in YouTube land, all of my subscribers, you guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to my last couple of videos. I appreciate y'all, especially when you guys comment. I feel the love. I know I understand y'all watching, but if y'all comment, that just lets me know, uh, you know, that give me confirmation. You feel me? That you was there, okay? I knew you was there, but if you just view and you don't say nothing, it's like you're a ghost. It's like you... <sighs> so, if you comment, that lets me know, hey, I see you. What's up? You look good. You doing good, girl. Do your thing, all right? <laughs> anyway, hey, y'all, how y'all doing out there? So, I know y'all wasn't expecting today. I know y'all wasn't, but it's going to be today because I got to grease my scalp, and I said I was going to come back to y'all again. Just in case, y'all, I am going to see if I can find my other video with those questions on it um, that I had asked y'all because some of y'all questions I didn't get. Um, I didn't get a chance to get to. So, I'm going to go back to that video and see if I can find a few more what sessions up, that I ain't, shut your mouth, girl, that I ain't uploaded, that I ain't answered yet, okay? So, I am going to go into my comment section right here, y'all. Ooh, somebody said, talk about adjusting to the married life. I already did that. How to give share space with a man and how your sons made the adjustment. Okay, I didn't talk about how my sons made the adjustment. And I also have daughters as well. Um, I have two girls and two boys, okay? First off, my oldest daughter, she never came to Alabama. That's Nivea's mom because she was already grown and gone um, before we got here. So, she was already gone. So, anyway, y'all. Y'all already know we got to get our grease, y'all. Get our grease. Virgin have fertilizer on deck. I got my four pack on deck. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be depotting this out the wild and putting it in my containers when I run out. But my husband done stole one, y'all. FYI, men, folk, if y'all watch me, he puts it in his beard, okay? This. He, he be smelling like virgin all up in his beard. And he, his... He ain't got no problem with growing no beard hair, but he just look at me and see my, my growth and my results with the virgin hair fertilizer, which influenced him to go ahead and start putting it in his beard. Now, I didn't influence him to put it in his beard. He took my virgin hair fertilizer. I didn't want him to start using I don't like when I, I never had a man that used hair products, okay? Um like he wanted mine so girl he don't even have hair my husband is bald y'all but he got this little beard challenge he sweated this thing i do something for him well let me hold up this he sweated the virgin half fertilizer do something to his beard so honey he done stole a um a little container of mine out of here and i told him he better not throw it away because if he do he ain't get no more so i keep my old containers as y'all know i thought i thought i had four one time i thought i had four but evidently i only got three i cut the little thing off and put it on there to let myself know it's virgin half fertilizer and y'all this one here empty already so this one is ready to get uh some more virgin half fertilizer put in it i know they sell the um the containers now but i get more for my money when i buy the tubes and depot them myself i rather get more product and put in a little bit of effort to take the to, to warm it up Warm some water up and set that thing in the uh and let it melt and boil it out. It's gonna get hard again. So until they drop that price down, then I'll be getting I'll be still um buying these. Okay, y'all. Y'all see my hair. Hello gray. Hello gray hair. Now, speaking of gray hair, I had bought some hairspray. Listen, I noticed in my last video I kept I kept doing that. When I look back at it, I'm like, girl, I didn't even know I did that. I didn't even know I smacked my lips like that. I'm like, girl, you better stop. Anyways, I'm going to try to control that in, in this video, okay? Because that was kind of annoying to me. So, I know I probably annoyed a couple of y'all. <laughs> um, but thank y'all for not mentioning it. <laughs> I went back and I seen it myself, y'all. How y'all like this necklace, you guys? Listen, I know a lot of y'all probably wondering, like, the old Gold Mouth used to wear jewelry all the time. Yes, I still do wear jewelry all the time. But for some reason, I just don't be coming home with it on camera. And I think I need to start bringing my sexy self back my jewelry fire girl back because she loved jewelry i mean big big jewelry i love big ridiculous ghetto fabulous jewelry and i think i always will so anyways y'all speaking of black spray did i say speaking of black spray speaking of gray hair let me see if i can get zoom. girl get yourself in the camera girl i'm trying to if i can zoom out or zoom in or something anyway no maybe i just sit back and maybe y'all can see those grays that's a little good little spot right there my main gray is all of my freaking edges like 
for real. Come on, great hair. I need to color my hair. It's called Style Edit, and I got it on Amazon. It's it is root concealer for uh, it's black. You know, this is the black spray for the gray hair, and it got a um little tube on it like this. Got a little spigot on it. Um, my other gray hair thing didn't have that. I just got this one, and um, it's actually time for me to color my hair black for real. Um, before I go to the girl to get my hair braided, y'all, I am going to um color. I'm gonna be doing a dye my hair gray video maybe i don't know child what oh yeah y'all i'm drinking my water um I, I know i mentioned the other day in the video that i said i was gonna start back drinking not start back because i never stopped i just kind of slack that's why pro i think that's why i probably got this pimple because my skin was doing very good and clear and beautiful and all of that stuff and um but I got my water container, as you guys can see. Okay, the problem with my water bottle is, it get is I'm tired of it. It's been like, it's been over a year that I've had this. This is the only water bottle I've had in the last. Uh, it might have been, it might have been about two years now, for real, for real. And I absolutely love it. I do love it. I, it's it's an excellent water bottle. It is by Cool Gear. It's big, but the thing is, um. I'm tired of it and it gets overwhelming sometimes because I feel like I be forcing myself to drink like this last little bit of water in here because this holds 64 ounces which is like what you at least need 64 ounces of water in you a day I don't care how much you weigh your size or whatever you at least need at the minimum get 64 ounces of water in you a day but it's hard for me personally it's hard for me to drink from is it, it wasn't at first but now it is it's getting hard for me to like gather the thought that i need to drink all of this water because it's so much at one time when i fill it up and then since the whole day i try to drink the whole thing but i don't want my water sitting in this like the whole day because by the time if i start with this in the morning up here then i'm like lunch time dinner time all, all that you know then i gotta work my way down it just seems so overwhelming to me so um i want a smaller water bottle so it won't be so like oh my god i gotta drink all of that because it's at a certain point you get tired of drinking water y'all you get tired everybody got time to be drinking all that water anyway child what we here to discuss we here to we here to talk about um reason i scat honey but let me um get to what what my question was what i said i said um how did my sons make it to the adjustment to moving to alabama now what i do regret as far as me moving to alabama is i should have waited till all my children were finished school before i made such a big leap in life um but i don't i don't, I don't regret it well, I kind of do because I don't like the schools here, especially especially for Scooby to deal with the schools where he already have disabilities. Um, but the, him dealing with the schools is like a no-no because the schools here suck. When I tell you they suck, I really mean that, that they suck. And and I'm always out there. I got to stay on top of them folks and all of that all the time. So if you're not a good parent, you're going to have a, you're going to set yourself up for some failure if you're one of those parents um, that just send your child to school and that's it and you never go out there you never see the teachers because there's a lot of parents like that in the black household i'm sorry to say it but it is what it is they're just sitting there cheering the school and i mean if you got a child that you ain't really got to go check up on and none of that you got an a student straight a student then kudos to you, your child doing good but if you got a child like i got with scooby who has um developmental issues uh mentally mental issues and stuff like that and you just send your child to school you you send your kid up for failure if if your child at a dumb school okay if your child at a school that people don't you know the teachers don't seem like they care but the teachers care if the parent put in that much effort so um speaking of that when i get done greasing my scalp and all of that and everything and stuff girl i am gonna go out there and check on my child um he is in the 10th grade and he's in you know and girl don't teach us all when we want to um kick one of the ass or oh, kick one of their butts no, I, well, I meant the first. I meant the first thing I said, but you know, um, <laughs> I, I, it, it really made me mad. But anyways, how he he has adjusted very well to Alabama. At first, it was hard for him because they don't have no fish creeks, you know, because Scooby is a fisher, fisherman, fisher boy, whatever you want to call him. And y'all know that I've had 
countless amounts of videos with him fishing and catching fish and he doesn't have the opportunity here in Alabama which is not a good thing because my whole family fishes and we have a family full of fishermen and women but Scooby has he still goes fishing it's just it's just different now he can't just like walk to the water because in Florida Florida is surrounded by water y'all Alabama is not so it's not water every time you turn the corner and but also it helped me a little bit because every time I turned around school was gone you know school was always gone somewhere and I didn't like that as a, a parent I, and as him and being in water and always having uh, mental disabilities you know, I was always scared. I was always scared, and I'm not scared no more now that I'm in Alabama. So there is a good side to being in Alabama, which for me is I'm not scared anymore that I'm going to find my baby in the water drowned up somewhere because he was always sneaking off to the water and, and stuff like that because he would sneak off to the water so much, and I used to have to go get him. Girl, the police used to bring him home. <laughs> Cause he was in retention ponds and lakes that he shouldn't have been in. So that that's my story with Scooby. You know, I love for him to fish and everything, but you know I don't want him to to come up missing. Cause he knew that water like the back of his hand, and he ain't afraid of nothing. He ain't afraid of alligators, crocodiles, none of that, honey. My baby done caught an alligator in the retention pond. Okay, so um, long story short. He has adjusted very well to Alabama. Um, he had to adjust to these schools because these children will make you want to slap their mama at these schools. These children are so disrespectful. They cuss. They cuss so much. I mean, the children do cuss back at home from where I'm from. But here, they straight disrespectful to the teachers, to the police, to everybody, honey. It ain't, ain't no love nowhere. It don't seem like. Not at the school, at least. You know, I live in a respectful neighborhood. The kids over here, they they, they good. I don't live in the ghetto um, right now in Alabama. I mean, I don't live in the upper class neighborhood, but I live in a, I live in a neighborhood. But ain't no, and I do have good neighbors and stuff like that. Everybody everybody is friendly and, and likable around here. So that, that made my job meant better even though I don't deal with nobody I mean I met them but that was that's about it but they as far as from what I saw pretty decent people they regular hood folk just like me <laughs> um but not hood because I make hood sound bad right no it's hood bad no <laughs> hood's not bad because I'm from the hood but I mean if you ain't acting like you ratchet and, and your clothes hanging out on your front fence and all of that type stuff I mean I mean I know clothes gotta dry but we do gotta dry you <laughs> Y'all don't mind me. I'm just talking. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys are y'all scaps with me. So, this is a Tuesday. I'm going to release this video today as well. Today is the actual day that I'm doing this video. Um, y'all, last Friday was a fail. My first video attempt to doing something, I thought I was going to bring something good to my channel that we all could do together and participate in, y'all. If y'all do not have y'all version half fertilizer grease today with y'all, or whatever grease y'all using to grease y'all scalp with, um, go and get it, y'all. Let's come, go pop it. I'll pop y'all some popcorn and get y'all a cup of coffee and we gonna talk about these things listen y'all um yeah so at the end of the day my children have adjusted very well by now as you know it's been four years y'all it's been four years so you know by now they should have and at this point they don't even really like going back to florida like for real y'all ain't that crazy they don't even like going to florida because it's like boring there and but scooby did go with me the last time i went to florida which was what two weeks ago um he had fun he went fishing in every fishing hole he could go i just let him go do him and he didn't catch not one fish this time and it's cold it's the winter time so the fish ain't you know they ain't biting like that and it was windy the weather was bad so um his chances of catching something was not good because you know he Scooby, I don't know, I don't know nothing about fishing, y'all. I mean, crazy, right? Because my whole family fishes. But Scooby tells me, Mama, if the water is moving a lot, like if it's windy, the fish ain't bite. So I guess the seas have to be calm. Why I say the seas, girl, the lake, <laughs> the lakes and the retention ponds got to be calm before you know the fish get hungry or whatever. I don't know how to, I don't know how it go, girl. But anyway, that's what he told me, you know. And so yeah, that's that's life for them, and uh, that was a that was a that was an ending to the question that I was asked by Kimberly Davis. Thank you, Kimberly, for asking me that question. Um, uh, la, 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 la. Let's see who got something else, honey. Oh y'all, um, Pooby is back. 
So I don't have Nivea in here over here asleep no more. She's in the room, in the other room with her TT. Praise God, hallelujah, because she was getting on my last nerve. But I just I just went in there and checked up on her. I mean, I still got her because Poopy, ain't, Poopy got Coco. So, I mean, I still went in there and got Nivea up this morning and, and fed her. And, and she back asleep now. She, she, she just a wake up early bird. But... She woke up too early. That's why she back sleep. Just put it like that. Oh, and I already did talk about the easy at home workouts for beginners. Y'all know. Um, I know a lot of y'all probably was like walking. We could we could have figured that out ourselves. <laughs> Lady D said put my air freshener under the seats, and somebody else said put my air freshener on the um the turn signal. So I put my air freshener on the turn signal, and I. I, I actually like it better there because I can see it. I can smell it. And who said that? Frederico. Thank you, Frederico. <laughs> so I ended up putting it on the turn center because I want to see it because I want to see it to smell it. I feel like if I put it on the seat, that was going to smell the smell. Anyways, thank y'all for the advice. I'm sitting here still greasing my scalp. Like sometimes somebody said I was greasing my parts twice in the last video. Yes, because some parts though, I be feeling it with one hand. I go through and feel it. If it don't feel like it got like enough grease in that area, I will go through and put some more in it, child. So anyway, how do y'all feel about, um, oh yes, I was just going to say something, but anyway, let me get on this subject. It was a girl on Facebook the other day, um, she had got raped in the club, and I was like, what? On live? Like, in the club on live? And I was like, what the heck? I felt so bad. I mean, because she was like, on live, she had, looked like somebody spiked her drink because she was like, and then all of a sudden her video was like, help me, help me. And I was like, oh my God. And there's people in there everywhere, y'all. Like, it was crazy. It was crazy. I'm like, somebody sent me that video on Facebook and was like, did you see this? And I was like, what's going on here? What's happening? You know, but then I seen another video of her posting because a lot of people saying that it was um like her husband and stuff. And I'm like, no, nah, that couldn't have been her husband because he was mad about it because they was posting back and forth. And I seen the, the footage back and forth. And um, y'all, yeah, look, I have to go under this ponytail to get my virgin hair fertilizing. Y'all. I forgot to moisturize my hair. It's all good. I'm going to go backwards this time. It's all good. So if you ever forget you need to moisturize your hair like me, um, I know I'm going over this twice. It's Don't don't worry because it's gonna, my hair soaks it all up. And uh, if you ever feel like you need to moisturize your hair like me after you done sealed it, <laughs> greased it, still moisturize your hair, okay? Because even though y'all people say, oh, it's just gonna sit on top because the grease has formed a barrier, moisturize it anyway, honey, and do whatever make you feel good. It's, it's still gonna work. Trust me, it's still gonna work. Um, so eventually that grease gonna soak in, and then you'll be back to moisturizing it again, honey. Look at the back of my hair, y'all. Look at the back of my hair. <laughs> It's just all kinds of don'ts going on with the back of my hair, y'all. So, I'm poopy here, but I had said I was going to go ahead and let her braid it back up. But, child, at the rate that thing is going now, I'm just like, okay. I'm just going to let it do what it's doing. And I don't know what's going on with the back of my head, child. This, oh, y'all. How y'all doing out there today anyways? I ain't spoke to y'all yet. How is y'all doing out there? Um, like I said before, I appreciate when y'all comment on my videos that let me know that for real, for real, that y'all actually exist in the building, okay? The comments is my favorite part of my videos, um, because I post these videos for y'all now. I post them for y'all. Um, to, look, I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. This is gonna be ratchet. It's about to get took out anyway, so it is what it is. I'll put this, this here bobby pin up in there. And hopefully it'll stay for the next couple of days because it's getting ready to get took all the way out, honey, real soon, real soon. So whatever it looked like, it, I'm going to just let it be because it didn't get braided tight enough from the start. It didn't get braided tight enough from the start, so we're just going to let that look how it's looking now. And I need to put a little grease under here. Girl, y'all know the back of my hair, I be wanting to shave it because it grow down so far. What y'all think? Do y'all shave the back of y'all hair right here? I ain't never did that. Uh, but my sister, she do that. She shave the back of her hair because, uh, well, I don't know if she do it now. But she, she used to shave the back of her hair because it grew it grew down too far. So, I think, I'm just, I don't know, I be thinking about that. And I'm like, nah, I ain't touching none of my hair. I, that's, that's just me. I be one minute. 
woman I be feeling some type of way next minute I don't. So child, that is it for me greasing my scalp, honey. I need to get a wet wipe, y'all. I have to get these wet wipes. You need to get wet wipes. And uh, get the grease off of my hands, y'all, because Y'all know it's greasy. And this is how much virgin fertilizer I got left in my thing. I do have enough for maybe two or three more of these applications, y'all. Um, I ain't gonna be answering too many questions today because I'm just I just got other things to talk about, y'all. Guess what, y'all? I told y'all the last time that I um found this girl to do my hair, but I have a problem. I sent to this hairdo that I wanted to do, but I ain't sure if I want it no more. I think I want to change. Um, girl, guess what? I said I had told my sister that I wanted some fish bone braids. And she was like, don't get those. Those old. You know what? <laughs> Y'all won't let me be great with the fish bones. I wanted some fish bones. <laughs> but, okay. I'm going to leave the fish bones alone this time. Because I'm going to get them the next time. But for right now, I just want her to break my real hair. And be able to, I'll be able to put some kind of extensions in it. Of, I don't know when or well how. But. Anyways, y'all, I was telling y'all about this this black spray. And I don't know if y'all can still see the gray. Y'all can still see the gray um, in my hair. I'm going to spray it a little bit. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> you got to aim right with this thing, girl. I'm going to spray the front of my hair. Cause y'all see the it change. Y'all see the ch this 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 black is not as strong. It don't look as much like spray paint as my other black. I'm gonna do a comparison if I can find my other black spray paint. If I got some more, because I think I might have used it all. But if y'all could see this side right here versus that side, can y'all tell the difference? It did cover up my little parts though, but psh, whatever. As long as it covered up the gray, I'm trying to just do my little edges. And okay, now can y'all see the difference? Can y'all see the difference? So what I'm gonna do now is just do my edges with my my got to be glued. Um, y'all, I have a I have this relationship between the got to be glued and my even with the purple top. I don't know which one. I like them both. These are both my. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Help me out, Jesus. I am going to just do my edges with the got to be glued. I got the got to be glued is good for like when I got all of my edges fuzzed out like this. Y'all can see I just got all whole bunch of fuzz around my hair right now because my edges ain't done. Um, see that? And it covered up that gray pretty well. Am I still smacking my lips, y'all? That's it. I was gonna stop, girl. I, that's just me. That that must be just what I do. I don't know, <laughs> girl. So I'm gonna put this um put this in. This got to be glued on my edges right here right now. And it might turn a little white, y'all, because y'all remember how I did the last time, and it turned a little white. So um, I'm just gonna uh, put this on. I need to get a big ball of this because the reason why I bought the little one is a dollar ninety nine, but plus I didn't think I used that much because I didn't at first because I was so into my even. But for some reason lately, I guess I guess it all depends on the different hairstyles I get. I'm using more of the glazed edges than the even now. Ah, maybe I'm just being lazy. But the reason why I'm gonna tell you is because when I put the it's not as thick, it's not as firm. When I do the even, um, the even um, is very uh, thick and it's hard to maneuver with this brush sometimes. Sometimes it's hard to maneuver with this brush, y'all. So, oh, I need to spray my hair. I'm gonna spray my hair with my S Curl spray, y'all. Put my glasses over here every time I. Oh, praise the Lord. That's for like I took a shower in that joke. Oh, I know why I had the fan on, y'all. I hope I ain't got my lens dirty. But, yeah, um, I got my ceiling fan on in here. Because I ain't want to get hot. Because I remember the last time I came here, I was hot and bothered, y'all. Anyways, did y'all see all of that stuff that's been going on the internet, y'all? How y'all feel about the R. Kelly situation, y'all? I did not watch none of that stuff. Because I'm like, okay, I'm not finna get involved in this. Because it's too much for me to handle. Because um, I've been in situations myself that I don't want to discuss but <laughs> uh R. Kelly mm -mm. I'm just I'ma just say this much about that mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's a no no that's a no no for me okay so anyways <laughs> look see how it turned white right there I did overdo it y'all I put a little too much on it so when you when you find yourself putting a little too much look at my ears it's all wet from the edge curl spray child I just did the most that time that fan blow everything around in the room so I'm gonna wipe some of that off 
girl yeah so um, I know I'm all over the place, y'all, but I appreciate y'all for um, sticking in here with me, sticking in with me. If y'all still watching, say Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Ooh, I cracked myself up, child. If y'all still watching, say Chuck E. Cheese, goddamn it, okay? So, um, that, that just let me know how far in y'all watch the video, and I appreciate you guys who do watch uh, into the video to get to the point where I tell y'all to say something crazy because I know my video's long, and the how long y'all watch my videos it really does matter to YouTube um, because the way they pay us is they we get paid more if the people watch us longer if you if I get more video viewed minutes by y'all uh, the pay is I can't say we get paid much I don't know how it works child I, if any, somebody can explain that listen but I know they do go by the video views I know if my video gets uh, more watch minutes that uh, the amount that I make per video does increase so let's put it like that and I don't make much y'all I'm not one of those big YouTubers that can just ball out and do out look this ain't working right this ain't working oh okay let's see I'm trying to do a little curve on it but this this hair on it got so um it's probably tired of me putting it in curve. It's like, uh-uh, it's time for you to take me on that. Okay, I mean, you got one more week, so hold on, Hal. You got one more week I'm trying to be grown. I know it's time. Let me tell you when I want to take you out. You don't tell me. <laughs> well, I think it is telling me, honey. But we know it's time. Um, So, um, my hair appointment, y'all, is February 1st. And I've been trying to change it because the girl, she kind of far away than what I expected it as far as, um, y'all see that black stuff? It's coming, it's coming out. It's coming out. I don't know. So, anyway, yeah, she kind of a little farther away than what I thought. And my husband was like, you need to just live a little and you go out because y'all have a phobia of driving on highways and, and, and stuff. And I don't know how to fix that, y'all. I, I wish to God that I was not afraid to drive on the big roads like that. I don't know what's wrong with me, y'all. Somebody help me. So, um, yeah, cause I don't, I, I drive, but not when I see big roads, my anxiety start kicking in and I get scared. I don't like big buildings and big roads or none of that, y'all. So, I'm trying my best to do these edges in the best way I know how, child. Um, and y'all, y'all can see, I ain't got no, I had black stuff on my forehead for that one piece. But it's not nothing that's just like there, like black stuff everywhere. I feel like I got a little bit right here, though. Yeah, I'm so. Yeah, it's a little bit right there, if y'all can see that. So, I just go around and wipe the rest of my hairline. I just go around and wipe the rest of my hairline off with the wet with the wet wipe and hopefully it won't be as bad. You know, I know my edges jacked up now, but this is the end of this hair do y'all. This is the last week. It's in its last days. So it's getting ready to get taken out real soon. So I ain't gonna go like overboard with um doing nothing extravagant with my edges and stuff, y'all check. Look, I ain't going too many places no way that I need to be cute at. So um I am going to just let it ride, and as long as it look decent enough to walk into Walmart, then I'm good. Hell, people at Walmart don't look decent they stuff anyway, so, okay, y'all. <laughs> I hope y'all was greasing y'all scat with me and drinking y'all water. Where my water went? Girl, my water way over here. I ain't sipped the sip since I've been talking. Just, oh, this supposed to be drinking, talking, whatever. Mm. Mm. I just thought of a new name. Um... Shout out to the Journey of the Joneses for um, giving me that name in my head for this this series. I could probably name this one Talking Silk. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just do another one when we Talking Silk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe I can do that. Thank you, Journey of the Zone Joneses. But instead of me sipping on some scissor, <laughs> like y'all be doing over there, girl, I <laughs> got me some water, okay? <laughs> Water does the body good. I have to have it in my life now. So, anyways, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed greasing y'all scaps with me today. Or if y'all didn't grease y'all scap, just enjoy talking to me and getting a little idea of how my life is or whatever. Look at this. That's that. That's that wet wipe. That's just the wet wipe on my face, y'all. Um. So, 
I hope this pimple be gone by the next video. I'm going to try to do a magic trick to make it be gone overnight. So, we'll see how that's going to work. I keep smacking. I just hurt myself do it. If I did it in this video, I apologize. If that's just what I do, then I just, that's just what I do. I don't know. My bra showing and everything. But, anyways, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video with me. And, uh, greasy y'all. Trash gaps, okay? And, uh. That's all I got to say in this video, and I will holler at y'all later. Bye!